Hi there. My name is Ranger Brianna and I work at Twin Lakes State Park just outside of Farmville, Virginia. Today we are going to be dissecting an owl pellet. Now I know it may look like it, but I promise this is not poop. In fact, it's much more similar to a hairball. Those of you with cats at home know exactly what I'm talking about. Just like other birds, owls don't have teeth. So that means they've got to swallow everything they eat whole. That means the eyes, the tail, the fingers, everything all at once. So just like our cats can't digest their fur when they clean themselves, these birds also can't digest fur or bones or teeth or those sorts of things. So instead of pooping them out, they spit it back up. That's right. This owl pellet that I'm holding was actually inside of an owl. Now the cool thing about these owl pellets is they can give us clues to the secretive lives of these really awesome birds that we hardly ever get to see. Let's see what we can find out about owls when we dissect this pellet. Okay, so we've got the owl pellet here, which I'm going to start to tear apart. I think it might be easier with my hands. Oh my gosh, we've already got a skull. Let me see if I can get that out of there without damaging it too much. Let's clean that off. All right, so now it's clean. And you can tell this is a rodent skull because if you look at those teeth, they're kind of a reddish orange. And that is very indicative of a rodent. They've got very strong teeth, so lots of iron. So let's tear into this a little more, see what else we can find. See another jawbone, lots of little bones. I think I see, yep, there's a pelvic bone from a rodent. Let's see what else. We've got another skull. See if I can get some of this fur off of there. This one's really stuck in there. I think it might be easier with my hands. Okay, so there's the bottom jaw, and you can see that big tooth. Again, another rodent. And that tooth can actually come out of that jawbone, and I'll show you that in a minute. The other half of the bottom jaw. And then we've got the top of the skull with those two big front teeth. And we have another skull. So this is three so far in the same owl pellet, which is pretty remarkable. They spit these up about once a day, so that means in a single night this owl has eaten at least three rodents. So we've got a little bone stuck in there. Let's see what else we can find once we've got this cleaned up. This one even had fur stuck inside the skull. Okay, so let's take a look at that bottom jawbone, and I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about earlier, about how you can pull that bottom tooth out. And you can see it's much larger than it originally appears. So it's coming out nicely. So that is one big tooth. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's a pretty big tooth. So this is what we found. We've got four skulls, lots of little miscellaneous bones. And I've taken some out to show you guys a little bit better up close. So we've got... Uh, Lots of smaller bones. Uh, we've got some pelvic bones. You can tell that from those little holes in them. We've got some vertebrae, which I think are probably the neatest thing that we find. These are even in a line, so you can kind of tell how they would go, the backbone. I think these may even be some fingers from a forelimb that I'm pointing to right now. And so we've got some rib bones. That's what those curved bones are. And we've got some more vertebrae. And these little tiny bones, I'm not sure what they go to, but I think they may belong to the forelimb. And yeah, like I said, we've got four skulls in a single owl pellet. So this was either one very hungry owl, maybe a barred owl, since all of the prey are rather small, but there are so many of them. Uh, but it's hard to say for sure. We've got lots of teeth, uh, all kinds of um, interesting things that we found here. It's kind of unbelievable that a single owl would eat all of this in basically a day. Pretty cool. So, what did we learn about owls from that pellet? First, we learned that they eat rodents, and that's big news in itself. 
it tells us that owls mostly hunt at night because that's when rodents tend to come out. It also tells us that owls have really great senses of sight and hearing, considering how small these animals are and how difficult they must be to spot in the wild. Now, that's some pretty cool stuff that we just found out. Now I want you guys to do me a favor. The next time you eat lunch, why don't you take a look at what you've left behind? For example, I left this gummy wrapper, so someone could easily tell that I like to eat gummies. What could someone tell about you from what you left behind after you've eaten?